and welcome back to Weavy Kids. In this session, we are going to be learning how to make a nature-inspired plaited tree. For this activity, you will need some string, yarn, jute, some scissors, a long ruler, and something that is circular shaped. I have reused a willow wreath, but you could obviously use a tapestry ring or something circular that you can find. You are going to be cutting three meter lengths of your jute. With this first one cut, you can now handily use this as your measure. And you can gather them together in bunches of up to about five strands quite easily. With the bunch complete, put your ends together and then run up the middle to find your center point. With that found, you can always take them apart one by one and drag them out keeping hold of the centre of the others. And make sure that you put those somewhere safe so you know where your centre point is. You can check by holding your ends together that you have the correct centre point. Then begin by wrapping this around your hand, working your way along rather than on top of itself so that you have the loose ends at the bottom and the centre point on the top. So for my 30 centimetre round, I have cut a total of 27 of these. So that's three metres times 27 for a 30 centimetre round. Begin by taking some of your lovely rolls here with the middle piece first. Allow this to then unravel. You're going to take the loop, place it underneath in the middle and you're just gonna loop all of your strands through and pull nice and tight. This now means you are gonna have 13 on this side and 13 on this side. Place them all on in exactly the same way. When you finish attaching them all, you're going to have this amazingly great long fringe effect that is attached onto your circle. So we attach 27 pieces. You're going to break that up into three. So that is nine pieces to create one bunch. This is going to be making a plait. So we're going to separate these off into their three sections. And then we are going to pull our pieces around and over the top of our structure. So to begin with our plait, we are going to take our outside ones over the center. That's always how it works. So when you're working with this length, you have to be quite clear about separating them out as you go. Placing the outside one again into the center. And this is going to be forming the trunk of our tree. Now you can choose to do this tight or quite loose as you please. The technique of plaiting, if you don't know that, is simply to have your three, you take the outside one over the center one and pull them across. So that now becomes your central piece. And then in the other side, you take your outside piece, taking it over the center. So it then becomes the central piece. So I'm working my trunk up to about one third of the height of my piece. So each individual area is now going to become its own plant. So again, you have to Break up your areas there. Should have six strands initially, two, four, six. Or you can just do it roughly by how it feels. It doesn't have to be that precise. And this is going to start to create one of the main branches off. And I'm only gonna do a little bit of the way because these are then going to break off individually to make further branches. Finally the same for the last set of twine. And as you can see, the other branches can begin to form. Now you might notice I am spreading out 
my almost like tails of yarn all the way around the edge of my ring, perhaps maybe where I would like to have them, maybe not, we'll see. So I can take this one now, if I want to, I can break it down again. So I can take the form of the plait to bring my branches out to the edge of my circle. And if I want to, I can continue with one larger, taking my three and joining it to my other to break them down again. This time I will make a slightly thicker branch. And really there is no right and wrong here. This is very much up to you, freestyling how you would like to have your branches so that they reach to the end. And don't forget you will be wrapping them on. So it's useful to go a little bit beyond your, your willow circle or your your round that you've created. Once you have a set of branches where it is that you think you would like to have them, feel free just to very loosely tie them into place, being aware that you may well still change that, but it might help you with your planning. So I'm not actually tying, I'm just kind of wrapping them around just to see if that is where I really want to have them. And then in exactly the same way as you have done this first area, you are going to continue with the other two areas working their way out. If you are wanting more branches, you can even take it down to two where you can simply twist, twist your two strands together and then have a single one too. And in exactly the same way, you will be wrapping them. This just allows you to then be able to adjust where any of your branches may be, should you want to. So once your plaits are all in place, you can start to play around. Now I'm feeling that there's a little bit too much of a gap here. So I have untied this one, which was tied lower down. And if I go to the other end, I am just going to separate my plait out gently. There we go, see the gap there. And I'm going to push my strands through to the other side and hopefully, really successfully, be able to give myself another branch that will work up and through that area. Now to attach all those ends. Well, you've already begun by wrapping them around. You can continue this to cover your frame. When you come to near the end, find a place that is suitable, usually around the back, to hide your knotting. So I like to take one piece separate to the rest and then wrap. This piece will then wrap around this one as it crosses through. Wrapping and crossing itself a few times and crossing around to make it tight. And then you can turn over your structure and tie on the back. And you're going to continue this all the way around your structure. And when you come to the end and you're just still wrapping your final pieces through, remember you can take a couple, essentially wrap them around and take them in the opposite direction so that you are able to tie off with an overhand knot on the back. And you will have the structure of your tree with some strands here and there. You're going to need to go back around and snip at the back. And I've knotted some of the excess to create a nice loop for hanging. And I think we're ready to go. And there we have our beautiful nature inspired plaited tree. I hope you've enjoyed making it and it makes a wonderful part of a display somewhere in your home. Or maybe you can gift it to a friend. Either way, enjoy. Take care, bye from Weeby Kids.